Yo, what's going on guys? We're back with another video. We're doing an old school style grocery haul video, lean bulk and groceries. Now, you guys have probably seen me do this a million times if you've been around since I started the channel, but there might be some new people here. So all I did was I went to the stores, I picked up some stuff and I'm gonna share it with you guys. Whether I'm lean bulking, gaining, maintaining, gaintaining, cutting, mini cutting, contest prep, most of my groceries will stay the same just because this is the shit that I like to eat. I feel good on it, I perform well on it, and it keeps me satiated and keeps my appetite under control. So we're just gonna run through the stuff. I'm not gonna bore you guys. I did go to more than one store. No, I didn't waste a ton of money on gas. I did save a lot of money on groceries though. So one of my favorite stores is Trader Joe's, a little bit further away from the house, but on the way home from Trader Joe's, we pass a few other stores. So I might need some stuff for the house or I might need some other snacks that Trader Joe's doesn't have. So that's why I might go to more than one store. It will save me a lot more money in groceries than in that one or two gallons of gas. So I'm not driving across the country to get these groceries. They're all within one street. So let's just dive right into it. First starting here, we got some staples. My, I'm big on micronutrients. I love fruits and vegetables. I think you need them in your diet, not only for a healthy diet, for quality nutrition, but also for volume, for satiation, because it doesn't matter if I'm bulking. I still get hungry and my appetite is big. So I need to fill up on voluminous or voluminous foods, whatever word you want to use. So we got broccoli slaw. Love this shit. It goes really good in wraps and in salads. Add a little bit of crunch. I think all it is is shredded broccoli and carrots. Then we got baby spinach, some lettuce. This pretty much has like no nutritional value at all, but it's filling because you can use a lot of volume. And if you shred it up, it makes awesome burritos and taco bowls and burrito bowls and all that. Green beans, edamame, which is another great thing in salads. And this is great because it does have a little bit of fat, but it's also got a ton of fiber and protein. One serving, five fiber, nine protein. Sliced mushrooms, just because they're good for you and they taste good. Then we got bananas. One of the things that my contest prep didn't see because in a banana, it could be up to 30 grams of carbs. And when you're on 65 towards the tail end of prep, you're not fitting a banana in your diet bag of strawberries. So these are the fruits I went with. My fruits will change. I like apples. I like pears. I like all that stuff, but this is what I go with for this week. Maybe next week we'll do something different. Moving over, we got some protein sources. My main staples of protein are always either a lean ground beef, a lean turkey, or a chicken breast. The reason I go very lean with my meats is because I like to add fat in other areas. So yes, you will pay a little bit more for a leaner meat, but I just prefer that. Higher fat meats are gonna taste better. So your 93.7s, your 96.4s, even your 90.10s if you wanna do that. But my fat is right around 60 grams right now and I get plenty of trace fats from things like oatmeal. I love my avocados, stuff like that. So anyway, we have boneless, skinless chicken breast. This is extra lean just because this was on sale. This is a 99% lean ground turkey. I get it, I'm in a bulk. Why are you eating such lean meats? I just prefer them, I like them and I can add fat if I want to. And they were on sale. I buy shit that's on sale. And then these from Trader Joe's are a gold mine. These chili lime chicken burgers. There's four in the package and I think it was like $4, so about a dollar a burger. And it's got six fat, three carb, two fiber, and 19 protein. So these things are awesome. Then we got your regular sta <laughs> staples, your uh, liquid egg whites, as well as cartons of eggs. So I do like to have egg yolks. So that's where my fat comes from also. Each egg, is, each egg yolk is about five to six grams of fat. So that's an easy way to add some fat if I need to. And then we move on to some carbs and then to some other stuff. So we'll finish off here. I still do the almond or cashew milk. I'm not a big fan of dairy milk. So, so that's why I get that. Uh, other carb sources, mission wraps, not the most macro friendly, but not too bad. So 37 grams of carbs in one of these. You guys have seen me eat like the Joseph's Lavash huge flat outs for like hundred calories. But sometimes when you want a burrito, you want a burrito and this makes awesome burritos. So we got that, your typical bro carb sources. I eat oats every single day. I eat cream of rice almost every single day. So this is digested very easily with <laughs> the dogs playing right under the camera. For a pre and post workout, this is great. This I like to eat before bed, throw some peanut butter in it, love that. So carb sources right there. All right, so we got some potatoes, baby red potatoes. I don't care if they're blue, red, baby, adult, green, purple, they're potatoes. I eat them every single day, usually for breakfast and pre-workout. And then I got marketed really hard at Trader Joe's on these Stokes purple sweet potatoes. Yeah, I got marketed hard, but sweet potatoes. And they were cool because they're purple. Sprouted flourless bread. If you guys have might've heard of like Ezekiel bread before, this is pretty much that, but Trader Joe's version, so a bit cheaper. I actually like the way this tastes and I like the way I feel after eating this as opposed to a bunch of slices of regular bread. So it's gonna come with more calories, so it's not your 40 calorie bread, but we're bulking here, so we're good. It's 15 carb, two fiber, five protein, zero fat. So I use that to make like chicken sandwiches and 
stuff like that. And then we just have some random stuff, some snacks and whatnot. So like I said, one of my favorite fat sources, avocado. I usually eat about one of these a day. Uh, we got peanut butter, another good fat source. Pico, the Trader Joe's Pico. Do this on tacos, on omelets and stuff like that. Roasted, what is this? Roasted garlic hummus. So a good spread for whatever, sandwiches and shit. You guys got dips and chips in it. Of course, rice cakes, lightly salted, and one of the best flavors I've tried, tomato and basil, right? Right, you, right? These are, what do you call them? The best AF, good AF. Is that what the kids say? Lit. The goat. <laughs> I'm too old for this shit. Guys, I'm 30, in YouTube years, that's like 70. But we're still healthy, we're still making gains. Yeah. All right, what else have we got? So plain non-fat Greek yogurt, awesome macros on this. 22 grams, all right, G. 22 grams of protein per serving. Tastes like sour cream by itself, so it makes a good sour cream substitution, a high protein version, but you can also throw some protein powder in here or flavor it up however you want. Refried beans, I think you guys get the idea. I like burrito style stuff. Refried beans, pico, wraps, avocado. Yeah, pistachio is another great healthy fat. If you go to Trader Joe's, look for these everything but the bagel seasoning. So if you took an everything bagel and you scraped all that goodness off the top and then put it in a jar, it's exactly what this is. And it's really damn good. Salad dressings, the best macro-friendly salad dressings you're gonna find. Salsa ranch, cilantro avocado. This is Bolt House Farms, tons of different flavors and it's only 45 calories per serving. Cause these are actually Greek yogurt based. Tastes nothing like Greek yogurt, it tastes really good. And they have, like I said, sorry, my dog's going nuts. A ton of different flavors. And then we got, uh, we got some snacks. So. Protein crisps. I've only found these in Target before. I don't know where else they sell them, but hot buffalo, smoky and sweet barbecue. Macros, we're gonna do a little bit of math here. This entire bag is 10 fat, 50 carb, 50 protein, 20 fiber. These things are epic. And one serving is actually pretty big. So one serving is only two and a half fat, 10 carb, 10 protein, and four fiber. But if you wanna crush the whole bag, you can. And that is the grocery haul. Like I said, Regardless of what my goals are, I stick to the staples. I'm pretty bro with my diet. I like the oats and the cream of rice and the egg whites and the lean ground turkeys and lean protein sources, the healthy fats, the fruits, the vegetables. So I try and get a wide range of food in my diets. I don't restrict myself. And uh, that's, that's the big thing with flexible dieting. You want to avoid food avoidance, be less restrictive, open your eyes to a bunch of different foods, but be smart about it. So I'm a big fan of minimally processed, micronutrient rich whole foods, and then go ahead, have your fun, and eat your snacks. So you guys didn't see like, yeah, I eat some ice cream sometimes. I eat some cookies and brownies and over there, they're like lint chocolate. So I still have my fun. I still fit that shit into my macros, but the majority of my diet is what you see right here. So if you enjoyed this video or you wanted me to take you to the grocery store, give you some budget friendly options, talk about different stuff that I like to use to cook my food or recipes, you let me know. Hit that thumbs up button. It helps the channel as always. Drop a comment down below. Let me know some of the stuff you pick up or some of your favorite grocery stores. And that's it, guys. I appreciate the support as always again. <laughs> there you go, G. We'll talk to you all in the next video.